Are you struggling to install missing dependencies in Ubuntu? Then this video is for you. Because in this video, I will explain four easiest methods to install missing dependencies with practical examples. And along with these examples, I will also explain the reasons behind missing dependency, challenges that you may face and GDP installation. So, let's start. A missing dependency refers to a required component or software module that is not present in a system. Generally, this occurs when a software package that must be installed requires other software components that are not available on your system. Missing dependencies can occur for several reasons. First, software requirements. Software needs specific components on your system. Without them, it won't work. Then, in number two, version compatibility. Software needs specific dependency versions. If not, it may not function as expected. Package manager comes in number three. Outdated or incorrect metadata in a package can lead to missing dependencies during installation. Next, incomplete installation in number 4. Incomplete installations or interruptions can lead to missing dependencies. Number 5, unaware removing. Removing essential packages by mistake can result in missing dependencies. And at the end, third-party software. Non-official sources may lack necessary components. This may cause missing dependencies when installing software. Let's try to install Team Viewer and inspect missing dependencies. And then I will show different approaches to install those missing dependencies. For that, at first open a browser and to download Team Viewer, use this link. After downloading, minimizing the browser and open the files to check the downloads. Now click on Downloads. And here you can see the downloaded Team Viewer zipped file. Extract this. So the file is extracted. Now minimize the files and open the terminal. Navigate to the Downloads folder using the command cd, Downloads. Now type ls to see the list of contents. And here you can see the downloaded zipped file and the extracted folder. Now navigate to the extracted folder with the command cd and the folder name, hit enter. Now again type ls to see the list of contents. Now in the terminal, you can see two Debian files. One is for TeamViewer and another one is for libminizip1, which is a dependency of TeamViewer. Now let's try to install the team viewer. Use the command sudo dpkg-i and the file name team viewer. Hit enter. You can see that installing team viewer is not possible because it depends on libminizip1 which is missing. However, you may face more than one dependency missing while installing other software. Let's learn four different ways to install those missing dependencies that you can use in your Ubuntu system. I will use apt and apt-get in the first method. Both of these are powerful tools for package management and used in Debian-based distros. It simplifies software installation by handling dependencies automatically. When the installation is stuck due to missing dependencies, you can fix them with apt. For that, at first open the terminal and run the command sudo apt install dash f. Hit enter, press y to continue. Now have a look. The command detects all missing dependencies and installs them automatically. If you want to solve this with apt-get, use the command sudo apt-get install dash y dash dash fix dash broken. Hit enter. You can see that this command has also detected the missing dependencies and installed it automatically. So we can say that this command also serves the same as apt. GDB is mainly a GUI tool, but it also supports CLI for installing Debian packages. It provides a user-friendly interface and handles dependencies automatically. Generally, it is not pre-installed. You need to install it manually. To install GDB, type in your terminal sudo apt install dash y gdb. Hit enter. and gdb is installed. Now, to install missing dependencies, at first navigate to the download folder using the command cd download, type ls. Now, navigate to the team viewer folder with the command cd team viewer, hit enter, again ls, and now I will install the missing dependency libminizip1. So, write in the terminal sudo gdb 
and the file name libmini zip1. Hit enter. You can see that this command automatically detects and installs the missing dependencies. dpkg is a low-level package manager used in Debian-based distros. It offers the dpkg package manager which allows you to install any .debian file on Ubuntu. So if you have the .debian files of the missing dependency packages, you can use dpkg to install it manually. As I have already downloaded the debian file of the missing dependency libmini zip1, I can install the dependency. For that, at first you need to navigate to that folder. Now write the command sudo dpkg-i and the file name libmini zip1 hit enter here you can see that the missing dependency named libmini zip1 is installed always remember you should download the .dev file of the missing dependency package that is compatible with the architecture of your system synaptic package manager often referred as synaptic is a gui package management tool it can handle dependencies and other package management tasks effectively. Let's have a quick example. At first, click on the Show Applications icon and search for Synaptic. Click on Synaptic Package Manager. Authenticate yourself. Now click on Custom Filters, then Broken. Here you will see the packages that are broken. As now TeamViewer is a broken package, it is listed here. So click on this, then do right click. Now click on Mark for Upgrade. Mark. Click on Apply, again click on Apply, click on Close and see Synaptic has solved the missing dependency issue. To check, click on Reload and there is no broken packages in the list. Although some of the Ubuntu package managers automatically handle missing dependencies, issues may arise anytime. For example, admin dependencies. To avoid this issue, use official repositories to ensure all required dependencies are available for packages, preventing missing dependency issues. Then, in number 2, conflicting packages. For this, always ensure system compatibility and prevent dependency issues by running sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to update and upgrade packages. In number 3, software from untrusted sources. Dependency problems can arise by using untrusted sources or manually downloading .debian files. So, stick to official repositories for a smoother experience. Next comes disk space issues. If your system is low on disk space, it can prevent package installation. To check available disk space, use df-h. And finally, in number 5, package cache corruption. Sometimes the package cache can become corrupted. Run sudo apt clean to clear the package cache and then try installing again. That's all for this topic. I hope from now on you can easily deal with Ubuntu missing dependencies. For a better understanding, you can check out the article linked in the description. You will also find the TeamViewer download link and used comments there.